Lady, there are better ways to break the ice than throwing a guy in prison. So, the cultists are telling the truth. You're a warlock. And yet, you seem to be free of the dark curse. No, not free. My little friend flying around my head here is one of the side effects. And the other, bigger one, is skulking around Egypt, doing God knows what. How did you do it? I don't even remember. Apart from an explosion, and then suddenly, there was a real ugly version of me, and a flying bat around my head. So you don't know. I see. Compared to your brutish companion, you seem to have a noble spirit. Let's see how well that fares you in time. Ah, he's not that bad. He's just not that great with people, that's all. Been through a lot of shit. Why are we talking anyway? Who are you? We've conversed enough. You can't help me by the sound of things. But if you want answers, then you'll need to look for them. Farewell. Always.
the bodies. to kick some ass. Better than yours. Is everything all right? They captured me, but I escaped. Chasing Lilith. She's some real witch the cultists hired to raise a creature in this tomb they found. She's going to awaken this thing now. I must stop her. Better start running now. <sighs> what a thrill! What someone just left lying here. Man, that hit the spot. Boo, you fuck you.
the wizard hell. Kiss of heavy words. Cooking with gas. Yeah. <gasps> ah, 
so you can teach an old gun new tricks. This looks interesting. Looks like this is the tomb. I don't know. Come on, you fucker. Huh, well, what do you know? Okay, we're all here. Sang, if you can secure this area, would you mind going back and securing an exit route for us? I'll head into the chamber and deal with Lilith and this creature. Just one moment, James. If we kill her, we could lose a lot of information. So the big cheese gets to walk away and all the underlings take the heat instead. Really? It's not our job to kill these people. We had to neutralize them as threats. Neutralize them? Right. Is that why you're here? Just for the action? Are you really gonna do this? Here? But she was just like me! I was forced into a life of evil, but I managed to break free and use my powers to help the team. Won't you give her a chance? I didn't know any better. I suggested it's about you wanting to be a white knight rather than saving her life. Uh, what? You didn't care about any of the cultists we just killed, did you? Don't say things like that, James. You're more worried about Lilith than you were the rest of them. No. Our job isn't to kill all that oppose us. It ends that way most of the time, but that's something that we prepare ourselves for. If there's a chance that we can take her alive, then you should use it. Look, if I can find a way to save her, I will, okay? But if I can. You can't spend your life butchering people and then have a change of heart that easily. Most of these idiots weren't even in it for greed. They had nowhere else to go. What makes you say that? Heard about all the cults you can find in the lower levels of the colonies on Mars. Most of them don't believe in this supernatural shit. They just can't face the reality of their life. They can either get swallowed up and die cold and lonely in some Martian shithole, or find hope in some crazy guy's rantings. It's unfortunate. Don't get the wrong idea. They gave up their free will for an easy way out. I don't have sympathy for them beyond that. Anyway, we have a job to take care of. Let's do it. Ugh. 
I think I can find an application for this somewhere. gonna die. I could do this all day.
just reach the surface. We'll be with you in a few moments. I managed to save Lily as well. <laughs> Sang, hold up for a second. Lily, take my jacket. It'll be a while before we get to the next town. I can be nice sometimes. Holy shit. Didn't go through all of that shit with a giant lava monster just to have her freeze to death on us, okay? I don't understand. When I did it, the Sang was created. But nothing really happened to Lilith. I wonder why. I can only guess that whatever dark forces at work in me were all siphoned out by the entity in the tomb. There was no more left for anything else. Although I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did you become good again? I'd rather not talk about it. Alright, let's not push the issue. Lilith, we're gonna drop you off at the closest UDF base here, but I'll see how many arms I can pull so that your abilities aren't going to waste in a prison cell. I can't say much fairer than that. You got off lightly compared to the townspeople that were butchered, and the cult. Very well. That is a fair price to pay. Thank you both. Though I fear the future will not be bright for some time. Whilst I was waking the creature, I received a vision. I can't describe it, but it felt as if some indescribable force was trying to enter our reality. Ah, great. That's just fucking great. Any more pet talks you want to give? Yes, you are still a curmudgeonly brute, but I wish you good luck. You'll need it. Amen to that. Now, let's go and drink to the dead. Yeah, let's. I thought I left desk jockey work behind at the EDF. Our first mission went just as planned. We cleaned out the cycloids, but discovered some disturbing research into the octobrains. Mostly concerning precognition, but also some vague references to what they may have originated from. Something far more intelligent, and presumably dangerous. We discovered a bunker deep underneath the base, with a surviving scientist who spilled the beans about the project. The massive precog units predicted an incident on Ganymede. For what it's worth, these things turned out to be right on the money. The base on Ganymede was a disaster. Strange, apparently demonic creatures stalked the halls and killed every living being there. The cause? A mysterious green temple found underground. Said temple containing a portal to somewhere even worse. We were in hell. Or at least, that's what it looked like. Was what we saw really what waits for us after this life? Or was it some cruel trick conjured up by a malevolent entity? Regardless, we managed to escape after traversing a massive Stygian tower and confronting its owner. Rusty went to Millhaven and did battle with an old enemy of his called Mr. Hyde. Or was it Dr. Hyde? Uh, in any case, he was implying that this character is the same man but Victorian England. Hyde managed to escape. Sadly, Millhaven's residents were all slaughtered by the cultists. There was nothing Rusty could have done though, and he performed his mission excellently. Miko's mission was a success at least. He recovered valuable data and prevented the mercenaries from seizing any more of his company's important and potentially dangerous research. As for me and Sang's mission, it went relatively well, although again, all civilian life was lost before we even arrived. This has to change. We need to be faster. Lilith was taken into custody, but I haven't heard any more. I trusted Sang's intuition. The truth is I need someone like him around to keep me in check. As for what lies next, it's apparent that this wave of bizarre activity is changing the world. As it enters the collective conscious of every living being on Earth, it'll only get worse. We need to expand. It's as simple as that. We'll do our best to increase our operational capabilities, to prepare for whatever the future brings to our doorstep. I can only speculate what that'll be, but we'll be ready to protect Earth and beyond. What was it you said to that man, Jekyll? Ah, yes. 
The wheels of fate are turning indeed. I don't care for your frequent soliloquies, Geisler. My followers are preparing for the attack. We'll be ready soon. Make sure you and your machine are too.